from the first night, it was one of our first conversations and I wanted a man of God that had those same values, but then that was almost weaponized against me. I was at the end um, threatened by the shared faith that we had. And unfortunately, the people that believe the same thing I do, do that a lot sometimes of um, using the same words and the same things we believe to call out specific things and poke. Right. And so the basis of what I believe is love and loving others and understanding and not shaming. And his love was contingent on if I did it, the things that he wanted me to do as he saw as a wife should do, not an unconditional yeah. love. You talk about being shamed. That brings up the night of your fantasy suite mm -hmm. and that final date with Lou. Did you feel shamed in that moment? Well, yeah. Um, Luke is really obsessed with sex and fantasy suits being about sex. And so I'll just tell everybody my sex life. But um, honestly, did I sit around being like, huh, who am I going to have sex with in the fantasy suites? <laughs> no, I didn't. That wasn't something planned. That wasn't something that really was everybody's business to know. Right. And it wasn't your business to ever ask me. Are you really telling me that you never said, don't judge me about the fantasy suites because I won't be using that for sex? I did not say that. Fantasy suites aren't used for sex, Luke. You didn't have one, so maybe you don't know, but the fantasy suites aren't used for sex. There you go. And now, looking back, it wasn't just that moment. Like, I had been blind to everything that had been happening. I did listen to you guys, but I knew if I listened to one of you guys say what he did, I would always have, like, a what if or a... Oh, that's that feeling when like you when a relationship ends, but there's still something there. And I didn't want you didn't that make for up myself. your own mind. I didn't make up my own mind. I would yeah. just be listening to what was happening. I needed to feel it and see it for myself. And that night, I felt it and saw it for myself. And that was when it just snapped for me. Now I'm like, I will not put up with this because that's not love. That's not what the person I want to spend the rest of my life with is ever gonna make me feel. And I'm so over being slut shamed and being felt like that makes me not a woman of faith because, oh my gosh, like I live my life and make mistakes and sin every single day and so do you and so do you and so do you and so do you and so do you, so do you. That's what grace is for. And I'm also not gonna say that me having sex in a windmill was just like the scarlet letter on my chest to have. Like, I'm not gonna stand here and feel that way, and you're not gonna make me feel that way, and that I maybe did that in my relationship. I'm not. And in those fantasy suites, that's not what they were about. It was about having a relationship where I grew really close to the men and knowing their heart. It's not just about the physical, and that's where you're gonna get really, really wrong in misconstruing me as an individual and anybody who's ever gone into a fantasy suite before. Does that make sense? Yes. 